Ciao belli, come va? Oggi vediamo come si usa, come si usa il partitivo in italiano. Today we are going to see how the partitive works in Italian. In other words, we are going to see how the concept of some or a little bit, uh, indeterminate amount, will uh, work in Italian and how you can express that. Because often, you don't want the whole thing, you want just a little bit of something or a part of it. So let's start, uh, let's start with the following. Once upon a time there was a wolf who decided to be a vegetarian. It's a difficult thing for a wolf, but he, he really tried. He also didn't want to eat too much, so he always wanted to have just a little bit of things just some amount so let's see how uh, we can do that so in english you could say some or a little bit and then in italian we'll see how it works so in order to do uh, to express the partitive you will need to refresh your memory about the definite articles so if you see here the uh, partitive articles so they will be depending on the definite articles. Remember in Italian there are definite articles? The in English would correspond in Italian to il for masculine, you see there. Lo for masculine that starts with the double consonant or particular uh, letters. L apostrophe for the uh, masculine that starts with uh, vowel sound, then feminine will be la, then l apostrophe will be for feminine that starts with a uh, vowel, then you will have e for masculine plural, you will have ri for masculine plural that start with the double consonants like studenti for example, and for the feminine um, plural you will have le. So in order to take full advantage of this lesson you will need to review the definite articles. On the channel there is a video specifically on the definite Italian articles. I advise you to see it before going on. So let's see here. You have here a word mela and you know it is la mela, feminine singular and then you will have to combine the definite article of the word mela with di. All right, so if you combine them, you will have here um, della mela. So it means some part of apple. If you do it plural, what will it be? The plural will be le mele. And you're going to be in this box now. Le mele, because it's the plural. So, combining it with the D, it will be delle mele. Mm -hmm. So, the next one is latte. What is the gender? The gender is masculine. Il latte. So, where are we? Start with a single consonant. We are right here. So, it will be D plus il. It will be del. Combination del latte. Some milk. Next one is spaghetti. Spaghetti starts with double consonant, SP, so the article is gli. Gli spaghetti, and you are right here because you never eat just one spaghetto, you eat spaghetti in plural. That's why you would combine D plus gli, D plus gli, you will have the spa degli spaghetti. Next one is pomodori. Pomodori is the plural of pomodoro. You know that it's plural, you know that it is masculine, so you are right here. It will be D plus E, it will become dei pomodori. It will mean it means some tomatoes. Okay? Does it make sense? So remember our wolf who is a vegetarian and really likes to eat. So he goes to the restaurant and he orders something. He orders some fruit, 
some cheese, some bread, some wine, and some cake. Mm -hmm. So you already know that the apple, oh sorry, not the apple, the fruit, is la frutta. So if you combine it with D, it will be della frutta. Huh? Formaggio is the cheese, and it is il formaggio. And if you combine the definite article il with the D, it will be del formaggio. Will be some cheese. Pane, it is masculine, singular. The article is il, so it will be D plus il, del pane. Some bread. Then it will be wine, again masculine, singular, il vino. D plus il will be del vino, some wine. The next one is a cake, la torta, feminine, singular, D plus la will be della torta, some cake. So you see here that lui mangia della frutta, he eats some fruit. Il lupo, the wolf, mangia del formaggio e del pane. He eats some cheese and some bread. Lui beve del vino. He drinks some wine. The next one is, il lupo mangia della torta. He eats some cake. Does it make sense? So remember the definite articles combined with the D. All right. Can you do these ones on your own? That would be a good moment to stop the video, to remember the vocabulary, and to combine the D that you already know with the definite article that corresponds to each item on the picture. So let's stop here, assign to them the partitive article, and then go to the page one and to check, okay? All right, so let's see. You have here la mela, singular, and le mele, because you have, you could do a little bit of an apple, a little piece of an apple, or some apples if you buy them more than one. So you already know that it will be di plus la, will be della, and D plus le will be delle. So we'll put here delle. The next one is il gelato. Il masculine. So a little bit of ice cream will be del gelato because it will be D plus il. The next one is il formaggio. And you will put D plus il. It will be del formaggio again. The next word is il cetriolo. Il cetriolo, D plus il, will be del cetriolo, if it is singular, or dei cetrioli, if it is plural. So it will be some cucumber or some cucumbers, not an exact number. Then you have spaghetti, and it will be degli spaghetti because the article is li. The next item is limone, and limone is lemon, so you would say del limone if it's singular, or dei limoni if you buy many of them. The next one is irregular plural, so it will be delle uova. Why? Because uova is the plural and some eggs will be delle uova. Mm -hmm. Next one is cocomero or anguria. Let's use cocomero here. Masculine cocomero. So it will be di plus il. It will be del cocomero. Or dei cocomeri if you buy a, a few of them. The pizza ends on a, la. So it will be di plus la, della pizza. The next word is gambero. Usually you don't eat just part of one. 
so we'll use it in plural it will be de i gamberi dei because it will be i gamberi masculine starts with a single single consonant carne feminine la carne so it will be de la carne de la carne because it is la plus d next one is cipolla and it will be de la cipolla because the definite article is la cipolla the next one is ananas and it will be del apostrophe because it starts with a vowel a ananas some pineapple mm, pane will be il pane so you combine it with the d it will be del pane so these would be the uh, partitive articles in Italian I hope it was clear I hope um, you can use them now and I hope you also refreshed your memory with the definite articles in Italian and some food vocabulary so I just wanted to conclude with the there are other ways to express inexact quantities in Italian for example alcuni or alcune used with the plural and it also means some but in this case they are countable milk is uncountable you could say del latte some milk no uncountable alcuni is used with the countable nouns and it's used with the plurals alcuni studenti some students alcune mele some apples another way of expressing the same thing will be qualche it's used with the singular qualche mela countable singular qualche studente countable singular so it's used with the countable items and it's used with the singular and plural so you have here alcuni studenti lo sanno some students know it Qualche studente lo mangia. Some students eat it. Note that in the case number one, you use plural alcuni. In the second, qualche singular studente. Singular, but the meaning is the same. Next one is qualche piatto è buono. Some dishes are good. Note, because I use qualche, I use singular countable noun piatto, dish. Hanno dei buoni piatti they have some good dishes dei i use the partitive article here that we learned and plural countable uh, noun buoni piatti alcuni piatti sono buoni some dishes are good and again here with alcuni you use the masculine plural countable noun uh, so expressing a similar idea of the inexact quantity so what we learned today is the partitive articles and how to express the idea of sum or the inexact quantity hope it was clear if it didn't work for you let me know i might re-record it otherwise ciao belli <laughs>